Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Yulakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, we will learn about the table processing instructions. We can perform array type of operation in the assembly also, like in the C. There is a dot .db directive in the assembler which allocate code room in byte side chunks. The dot .db directive can be used to define a fixed data and the numbers can be in the decimal, hex, binary or a ASCII formats. That means you can declare a character like a string and an integer type of the data. The dot .db directive can store maximum value up to the 255 and also there is another directive the dot dw which can store up to the 65535 okay so the thing is that using this dot db directive or table processing instructions you can do the lots of things like in the c such as a matrix multiplications or you can say the matrix operations string declarations are a constant data declarations okay so let's write a program and understand how it works okay so create new project and uh, select assemblers and select your project type here let's take a make a table processing click on the ok and uh, choose here 8 mega sorry add mega 32 double click on it then it will open a new window and write our code here first so the, we are writing here hello world code okay which will declare the string in the program code memory okay the program code memory make a intendations here okay the two tab here one sorry sorry one two okay so here is two tab so let's start dot dot oops dot include m32 def dot inc okay so the dot org the 0 x 0 0 and uh, then start our ndi r16 with the new value that is the 0x ff and uh, then out it to the ddrb r16 that means we are making a port v as output here that means we will write hello world in the program code memory and then we will read that hello world from that and put on the port b in the avr microcontroller okay so that's fine now that we have declared the port v as a output now the load the now load the data let's uh, load the data from at here and uh, let's say it is the my data okay so give a tab and let's declare the dot db this is the directive to the assembler and uh, then hello world put a null termination that is the zero okay and make this program at the origin that should be that could be the dot org 0x let's say the 500 okay so load the address of the hello world here okay so the ldi it should be the high and uh, it should be load in the jdl JDL the combination of the register R30 and the R31. JDL is corresponding to the R30 high of the my data. Sorry, the my data and left shifted by one and uh, also the LDI J high with the low byte of the I'm so sorry 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 it should be the high and it should be the low the low of the my data the left shifted by one okay so the address of the string declaration has been loaded here 
now read the my data okay so let's say this is the loop one okay so the load program load from the program memory r20 okay from the address of the z defined loaded in the z the z is the combination of the z high and the z low and then finally the plus that means it will auto increment it will do auto increment fine then compare with the immediate value whether r20 is null termination or not okay so the compare with the zero and if is equal to the breq that means if it equal to the zero then branch to the end and let's define the end here okay branch to the end that's mean at the last of the instruction so the last of the program rjmp and to the end okay and if it is not equal to 0 then we have to continue to reading this uh, this uh, my data and uh, we have to continue to put the readed data at the output of the port b so the port b let's we make the out here first out to the port b r20 okay and then the r j yum p relative jump to loop 1 okay so that's a fine now the our program has been completed now let's understand one more time this one as you know this is the definition file okay no problem here we are declaring port b as a output here we are loading the address of the our my data hello world that's mean that we are loading the where this is situated and it is situated at the address of the 0x 500 uh, program code memory is the 2 byte that's mean each location consists of the 2 byte so the program uh, address at the 0x 500 a have a 2 byte a lower byte and the upper byte that's why that's why we are shifting it that's mean we are multiplying by the 2 here this is the z high and the z low okay so we are loading the address of the hello world in the z registers z register is a consist of the r30 and the r31 okay the z high is uh, corresponding to the r31 and the z low is corresponding to the r30 okay so we are loading the address of uh, uh, the hello world in the z registers okay and then we are reading this z this uh, we are reading the uh, data uh, defined at the address of the z and then z plus means we are automatically incrementing we are automatically incrementing the address of address of the hello world okay and then we are comparing whether we have reached here or not okay and if we have reached here then branch to the end otherwise continue to the reading this program okay so let's uh, uh, build this program okay that's fine our program has been succeeded the zero failed and let's debug it first and let's see the debugging tool is not set so the first set the debugging tool here that's a fine and the save and then debug it let's wait for six second okay that's a fantastic so here you can see so the r20 is loading at the address of the z so the let's take the r20 r20 see here this is the r20 okay the r20 is loaded with the 48 and then incremented the z that's mean the lower byte zl has been incremented to the 1 okay so the put the data uh, which is read in the r20 to the port b okay let's uh, see the port b data okay it was a 48 okay it was a 48 that's mean the h h is the corresponding to the 48 okay it was a hello world so the h is corresponding to the 
okay capital H is corresponding to the 48 in the hexadecimal and then again read the data in the R20 okay and put that data at the port B and that is corresponding to the uh, that is the corresponding to the 45 that is mean the E okay the 0x E okay then you can go ahead with the L as you know the L is the 4C okay and again is the L so the again that will be the 4C okay so here no update you can see and then O and O is corresponding to the 4F and then there there should be a space okay then the space is corresponding to the 0x to 0 in the ASCII characters and then W finally W is corresponding to the 57 okay and then O again O is corresponding to the 4F and then R and then this one is corresponding to the L 4C and then the finally the D D is corresponding to the 44 okay and now the 0 has been made the 0 made that's been program current to the end okay so the basic idea behind this program using this program you can generate a programmable sinusoidal wave you can do the matrix data processing you can do the string operations okay so the like in the c you have a array you can create your own array using dot db directive or the dot tw directive in the assembly program thank you so much for watching we will take some more example in next tutorial thank you so much